everyone welcome back to another video we're doing the top 10 worst tourist traps in the u.s of course every country has tourist traps right and as a foreigner to the united states i think this is a perfect video to watch so i can avoid the tourist traps let me know what you guys think about this video please give me advice on these tourist traps and let me know if there are any more tourist traps you would like to add to the list i'm intrigued i'm not sure of any tourist traps in the u.s apart from hollywood <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be on here. I feel like some people might know that I really don't like Hollywood at all. I've just had very terrible experiences there and I don't recommend anyone to go. And I feel like that is a tourist trap that I fell into. Let me know what you guys think about that. <laughs> but we're going to get into today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Welcome to Mojo Travels. Yay. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst tourist traps in the US. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to here. subscribe to Mojo Travels Surely. and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. For this list, we're looking at American attractions that don't exactly live up to the hype. Mm. We're not saying that these sites aren't without their historical or architectural merits. Compared to the Niagara other Falls landmarks you could be, be visiting here. though, they don't need to be on your bucket list. I wouldn't say that's a tourist trap. Number 10, the Gateway Arch, St. Louis, Ooh. Missouri. Dubai may have the world's tallest building, but Missouri has the world's tallest arch and monument. I think cool. that's cool! We guess. Even then, this stainless steel memorial is only 630 feet tall, which is kind of puny compared to the various skyscrapers that surpass the thousand foot threshold. Oh. While size There's isn't everything, even the design is fairly underwhelming. It looks like a giant croquet hoop that's been spray painted chrome. If you're driving by or jogging through Gateway Arch National Park, the monument is worth a quick gander from a distance. Don't waste your time or money on a tram ride, however. The lines are usually long, and once you arrive at the top, you have to look through frustratingly are tiny windows to get a halfway decent view. Jeez, tough crowd Number out here. nine, Jeez, Cloud please. Gate, Chicago, Illinois. From one stainless steel structure to another, this sculpture is officially known as the Cloud Gate. Most people call it the bean, the bean however, oh, yeah. because let's be honest, that's what it looks like. An overgrown silver bean plopped in Millennium Park. We suppose the design is unique, but the experience is ruined by the dozens of fellow tourists oh, annoyingly taking selfies. So yeah. if you want a photo op all to yourself, you're going to be out of luck because at least several strangers are going to pop up in the background. Since the it's surface so reflects and though, distorts its surroundings, <laughs> you can also count on getting dizzy after a while. The sculpture is essentially oh, a glorified funhouse mirror, which is an amusing thing for about a minute until it gets old. These past Number two, eight, like, Market Theater Gum Wall, Seattle, Washington. Hey kids, you want to see some chewed up gum under the cafeteria no table? Way. No All right. How about it's an entire brick wall is. covered in discarded gum? Still no, then maybe stay away from this downtown Seattle tourist trap, as well as California's similar bubblegum alley. Sometime in the early 90s, people started making the habit slash tradition of sticking coins to this wall with gum. Eventually, the coins started to disappear, but the gum stuck literally and figuratively. Damn. Although the wall was cleaned multiple times, even as Please. recently as 2015, the gum always finds a way back. Oh, we don't understand why, because it's a pretty gross spectacle. Since we're all trying to be cleanlier for obvious reasons, it might be time to start disposing of our gum Ooh, properly. Okay, there's definitely something Number seven, I could not get Mount with. Rushmore, Keystone, South really? Dakota. The heads of four iconic presidents carved into a mountain. On paper, it sounds cool, and from a craftsmanship point of view, Mount Rushmore is impressive. Upon arriving, though, you still can't help but question what the fuss is all about. The monument is a hassle to drive to, and once there, the closest you can get is from the presidential trail. From this distance, those 60-foot heads seem rather diminutive, dashing high expectations. Maybe it'd be fun if we could all climb to the top, but anyone hoping to reenact North by Northwest is in store for a disappointment. If anything, Mount Rushmore is sort of an eyesore when stacked up against the natural beauty of the surrounding Black Hills Damn, mountain range. This video Number is. six, the Space Needle, Seattle, Washington. Hello but again, maybe, Seattle. Three things might immediately come maybe to mind: this is the video Fraser, I need, right? Starbucks, the and the Space Needle. Although every Space other Seattle needle. landmark lives in its wow. shadow, the Space Needle isn't even the city's tallest structure. That distinction goes to the Columbia Center, which provides a vastly superior view of downtown Seattle. 
While the Space Needle's flying saucer Whoa. design yeah, is distinctive, like saucer. it's not really worth Pretty. paying between $22 and $35 for general admission. It might just be us, but having a revolving Whoa. glass floor and a cafe under one roof sounds like a recipe for nausea. On top of that, why have an yeah, observation tower in a city that. where the fog is abundant and it rains almost 150 days per year? Oh, true, that's true. That's true. Number 5. Niagara Falls, no way. Niagara Falls New York. Me? Of all the sights New York has to offer, Niagara Falls shouldn't be a top priority or even a mid-tier priority. At most, it's what you do when you've seen everything else. Don't get us wrong, Niagara Falls is a marvel, but New York isn't the ideal place to see it. Uh, Unless you Canada. pay for an excursion of the falls, New York doesn't provide the best vantage points or panoramic mm. viewing. In Canada, there are not only That's paid fair. excursions for those who want an extra special experience, but even the free seats are mostly wow. spectacular. You may assume that we're being biased towards Canada, but rest assured that Ontario's side of the falls puts on a far better show. Number 4. Four Corners Monument, Southwestern United States. Oh, wow. Four particular U.S. states are united in more ways than one. At one point in the Southwest, the corners of Utah, Colorado, Arizona, wow. and New Mexico all intersect. It's a neat little coincidence, but is it worth seeking the Four Corners Monument out? No, not really. Like, have you ever stood in one state before? Well, yeah, of course you have. Standing in four different states at once isn't much different. It's not like the scenery is anything to write home about either. You're just surrounded by a dusty desert, which you'll see plenty of no matter which direction you take next. Plus, you're bound to run wild. into some obnoxious tourist who keeps jumping back and forth between states. Number oh, three, Plymouth Rock, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Chances are you read about Plymouth Rock while learning about the Mayflower's historic voyage. If there weren't any illustrations, you probably envisioned the quote-unquote Great Rock as a towering boulder or something. In reality, Plymouth rock. rock isn't much different from the other rocks you've likely seen on nature walks. The one difference is that 1620 is carved into it, coinciding with the Pilgrims' arrival to the New World. While it's a significant historical site for certain, it's still a rock and a pretty boring, bland rock in a pit at that. We guess if you have a pet rock, this sort of thing might be up your alley, but we're going to see what's happening in Cape Cod instead. Number two, the Liberty Bell, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Sometimes it's the imperfections that make a landmark stand out. For example, the Liberty Bell probably wouldn't be nearly as popular if it weren't for its iconic crack. <laughs> the various stories and theories connected to the crack have also generated plenty of interest. At the end of the day, though, the Liberty Bell's history is more fascinating than the bell itself. It's a Liberty dingy 12-foot bell. bell with a crack in it and can't even be rung anymore. Does something like this demand to be seen in person? A lot of tourists seem it's to assume so, the as the site is often packed. The Liberty it's Bell the isn't all that it's cracked up to be, it. however. That pun simply like couldn't that. be avoided. Sorry, not sorry. Number 1. The Hollywood yeah, Walk of go. Fame, Hollywood, California. Hollywood is the land of movie stars. <laughs> and you. with the exception Thank of the you. area's legendary mountaintop sign, few sites are more iconic than the Walk of Fame. But oh, is it worthy gosh. of such recognition? Well, let's put it this way. The first time you see one of those stars on the sidewalks, you think to yourself, wow, I'm in a truly magical place. The further you walk, it dawns on you that almost every star is the same, albeit with different names and emblems. Following the stars for 1.3 miles isn't our idea of a fun time, especially if you run into street performers and other tourists hogging the sidewalk. Unless you happen upon a ceremony with a new celebrity getting their star added, it's an easy skip. Do you agree with our picks? Wow, you guys. I feel like that video was so ruthless. Kind of like negative, but of course, I'm from New Zealand and not from the States, so I'm essentially a tourist to the United States, so maybe this video should be directed at me, but I feel like I would go to, I would still like to go to most of these places. <laughs> not the gum wall, not the gum wall. Um, and also I'm a big history person. I like going to, I like seeing historic places and um, seeing historic things like the rock, right? The person in the video was saying, oh, it's just a rock. And she was kind of comparing it to a pet rock. And it's like, it's a bit distasteful. In my opinion, it's not just a rock, it's the history behind it. And I really like going to things like that. Mount Rushmore, I'd still want to go to see that. 
it's 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 a super famous thing i'd like to go see it in real life even if it's not like you can't go up close but i is it a tourist trap let me know down below of course i wouldn't know i've never been yeah very interesting please 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 let me know your thoughts down below regards in regards to any of these tourist locations or let me know any more that you think that i should keep away from when i go travel around the united states please let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching with me today i really appreciate you being here um again definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i do have a twitch channel where i go live four times a week at 8 p.m american eastern time so hopefully you can swing by and say hello there um i will leave the link down below um and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,